is tired of the shop up after yesterday's grinding affair. It was somewhat dusty. So I've put the kit pretty much where the kit's gonna live. Oh, I really wanna get that back wall painted and sorted out. I'll sort this damp out. I might nip over and get something today after we've had the meeting. But uh, I'm not getting changed. I'm just probably gonna go home, have a quick wash, put the compressor on and blow the dust off me. I've got a lot dustier than I anticipated. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because I've had no breakfast yet and that'll give me an hour to get back down here and meet the folks from HMRC. Wish me luck guys, we're going in. I've always been a risk taker. Shall we have an egg banjo before we meet HMRC? Oh, it could end up down my shirt. But the good old chucks are laying well this week. Good girls. Okay, I went for the safe option. I burst the yolks. Bit of pepper on there, sunshine. And of course, little dabble do ya. Just a little sprinkle of salt. Get in my belly. So I've got myself a black little clipboard thingy. Try and fit in with the clipboard warriors. <laughs> right, so brewery application for her, brewery application for moi, brewery application to send off should she not take it. And then uh, yes. All of the other jazzy jazzy jeffel. So we'll put the business plan in the front, followed by a copy of the software that we're using, followed by the due diligence tackle. And there's another piece. And then by his booking letter, uh, letterhead before the booking letter, and then some other jazz and compliance notes. So there we go. All ready to receive, sir. Right, let's go. All right, they've been. I feel negative, but it went positively. They, uh, they've been in, they've looked at the fact that we've got a kit and uh, he seems like quite confident that we're going to have the ARAS approved. I've got to resubmit the uh, brewery application, she won't take it off me, even though she's taken a copy with her, she won't take it off me. So this time around I'm going to have to send it recorded delivery I think into wherever it has to go to. So I'm going to shoot up home, put together that and send it off today. There was also an issue with the fact that I'd submitted the ARAS application as a sole trader, but that's because I couldn't negotiate the Government Gateway website. And it has to be um, under the partnership name. So we've resubmitted, we're gonna resubmit that. Uh, hopefully I can do that today. You trying to hide, Gem? No. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shoot back up home and get on the gargler and see if we can't switch a of the old application to put it into the partnership's name. Not allowed to get the clothing pile in the shot. Hey Gemma, I don't want you to see that, but it's getting silly again. It's getting totally silly again, so uh, I've had to cancel the application for alcohol wholesale registration scheme under my name I've had to ring up HMRC for them to give me a number so I can log into HMRC to make the application under the partnership Harrison's Brewery's name, which I've done. Oh God, honestly, they sat right in front of me. They were sat right in front of me. Couldn't do it. Also, she would not take the application either for the brewery license, so I've got to go into town now. This time I'm going to send it by recorded delivery. 
and he thinks it might be lost in the system somewhere so they couldn't arrange a piss up in a brewery so uh, yeah I'm gonna go into town I'm gonna pick up a load of ring binders and folders and I'm gonna tidy this freaking mess up because I'm sick of it it's all over the freaking place and uh, everything's gonna have a new file Harrison's Brewery, The Brew Shed my tax file, Gemma's tax file, Stuart's tax file everything so we're gonna pick up about 10, 10 ring binders but I haven't got much time look at that an hour before I've got to pick up the little sheds let's go right chaps I'm just editing the video here and I thought I'd cut a piece in uh, just to explain something I've noticed I noticed that I seem quite negative on the uh, on the video from after the meeting and I suffer from a type of anxiety that uh, when I've been through something that I have to process then generally I tend to go into a phase where I need time for the information that I've just gathered to sink in and my default mode is almost like I need to get rid of the clutter so I want to tidy things up so automatically I like want to tidy the unit or I, in this occasion I wanted to tidy up the paperwork and everything like that for the businesses so I think it's um, it's an extension of my mental process wanting to get things organized in my mind and I, I, I put that I force that onto the real world around me and make my environment tidy to deal with that internally if that makes any sense but I'm really positive about the outcome of today it's good we're gonna get the licenses there's no doubt about it uh, but just watching this back shows how uh, strange the human animal really is uh, including myself I just thought I'd put this in here because it was an interesting observation another benefit from doing YouTube videos right let's get back to buying some ring binders well let's see if home bargains do uh, ring binders and that kind of ting binders <laughs> I'm a rhyming everything right let's go in Yo. 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 to get loads of lever arch files and just these uh, normal ring binders to put together all of the HMRC stuff, tax return stuff, all this kind of jazz. We've already got a mountain of paperwork for the brew shed including invoices and purchase orders that kind of stuff but now we are imminently starting up two businesses with lots and lots of paperwork we need to make sure we keep on top of it and make sure everything is separate we have to keep it all separate um, and that's part of the due diligence which uh, HMRC want you to prove that you're doing so this is a bit of a necessary evil but as well as saving all of the paperwork for HMRC all of the boring stuff if you like uh, you've got to save the important stuff as well most of the paperwork that we bring into the house consists of amazing artwork created at school by the kids and granted it gets lost and piled in with all the rest of the receipts and invoices so I've got some folders for the kids as well see if it picks that up on facial recognition eh? <laughs> so we're gonna stick uh, all Abigail's pictures in here and we got Dominic one too and I'll let them draw on the faces and uh, personalise them so always thinking about the kids and then one more thing before I pick them up before I go and pick them up somebody sent me another clock face so I'm gonna make it for the pub I can't remember who it was but thank you uh, so I've managed to screenshot it and I'm going to take this into the pub and put it on the wall because I know it will get everybody saying 
what's the point in having a clock like that? It is the Black Knight from Monty Python and as you can see Tis but a scratch, a mere flesh wound he's saying as both of his arms have been chopped off and the arms are obviously the minute and the hour hand and they're sat at the bottom of the clock there so I'm going to print this off on photo paper and we got another aluminium clock, the same one, 4 99 from Home Bargains we'll take the backing off and we'll do the same thing with that I think they'll love it we'll take the minute hand off and the uh, hour hand and we'll just leave the second hand going round and round and round <laughs> I'm sure it'll piss a few people off as well I've just had time to put the clock together what do you reckon? We made a bit of a detour. We come to see the pony. <laughs> the lonely pony. How you doing, bud? Oh, let's have a look at your teeth. We should bring him a carrot. <laughs> yeah, we should have brought him some carrots. Oh, too. What? <laughs> it's like a pygmy pony, this one, isn't it? Is it a pygmy or a Shetland? I don't really know what they're called. Yeah. You're a funny looking fella, aren't you, bud? He's cute. I think he's cute. What's the other one? The other one's in that shed over I there. I do horse riding. He's not coming out today. He must have Mardi pants on. <laughs> hey, where's your buddy, mate? He's sucking. Where's your buddy? I know what he's thinking of. We're trapped in the car. Well, we're not trapped in the car. But it's hailing. It's hailstoning outside. Isn't it, Dom? Yeah. Hailstones. Not very big, though. So, we're going to wait in the car until half past five so Gemma doesn't have to walk home in this weather. That'd be really mean. We were going to go and uh, get some food, but we'll wait instead. And I bought strawberry laces for 20p from Asda. Sweets. Come really see. Zoomed out and off. All the way down. Zoom out all the way. You got the rainbow, buddy. You can't fully see it. Well, there's a break in the cloud, so I thought I'd come outside and sign off for what I consider to be quite a productive day and uh, mark it with a brew by numbers 6501, which is their double dry hot IPA. Yes, what do you think to that? Let's have a go. This one is uh, Citra Columbus. That's delicious. So, quite fittingly, as one chapter closes, another one seems to have opened today. So we're going to say goodbye to this, once and for all. See you tomorrow. Here's to Harrison's Brewery. <laughs>